like they care about minorities, but they removed the black guy's video for making jokes. I will always fight fire with fire. I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't think it's a strike. It was it was a video that was removed for hate yeah. speech. What? Wait, what, what? Which video? It was one of my streams of Fortnite live building shooting episode one twenty one. Okay, who was in the stream with you for that one? Was it just you or was I others don't, there? I don't remember. It was so long ago. It was a few months ago. I probably made some joke because somebody off Twitter made the skin that I used in the stream. Hmm. Do I appeal it or not? I, I would, if I was you, I'd appeal it at guilt trip them. Just say, hey, I'm black. How dare you? Then like, oh, oh, we're sorry, we're sorry, we're so sorry. <laughs> oh God! Use use their woke powers way. against them. <laughs> That's what I was just talking about on my stream too. <laughs> what if I do the same thing? Oh, you you guys removed the a black guy's video for making <laughs> jokes, and you you panhandle uh, black voices. You know that whole black care about black voices during exactly. February. Oh. God, yeah, that. Yeah. Like, who the hell would, like, strike that anyways? Like, what? I don't get that. That is weird. I mean, that's, obviously that's an older video because what you're on, like, 150-something right now. Yeah, the, uh, why now? I don't know, that's just weird. That is really Ooh. weird. What will happen if I appeal it? Will I get it? Will they strike uh, me? No, they'll like supposedly somebody's supposed to like a real person is supposed to review it, and then they'll get back to you. But like that's YouTube is just going crazy lately. Because at the very least, they owe you an explanation and tell you exactly like why they're doing it. Like what was the issue? What was the problem? But they don't do that though. They're just like, oh, we're so we're striking you. That was but, that why? was a few months ago. Yeah. I just I just have to do do YouTube their way. No more jokes. Boring. Nick A thirty. Family friendly. <laughs> Mr. Beast challenges. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you have the one of you do that survey that YouTube sent out? Yeah, yeah I did it. It's a long ass survey. They ask you your opinion about like YouTube and other platforms, and are you satisfied or dissatisfied? And there's a few times when they allow you to actually leave a comment in the survey, but the survey went on forever. I did it the other day, and I was just, I was getting pissed because you have no choice but to include other platforms. Even if you don't actually make content for those platforms. So I so, did get a strike. That's bullshit. We'll carefully review Ooh. your content again, but we can't guarantee a particular outcome. If we determine that your content didn't violate this policy, your video will be reinstated and we'll remove the strike from your channel. Yeah, but I think everybody's entitled one warning, though, right? Yeah. I think that's no part of the way YouTube actually did that. Wait, you you have a community guideline strike. Was I playing somebody else's video on the stream or something? Oof, I don't. That's a good question. <laughs> hmm. Are you still live right now, right, Tays? Yes. Okay. But it was yeah, striked for hate speech. I swear, like when you get striked, like don't you lose your ability to stream for a bit? Or you do? I don't yeah. know. Like I think. Oh, well, if it's a warning, 
I mean, is it, if it's your first strike, then I think the first stri strike is always a warning anyways. Hmm. But yeah, I would definitely impill it. I'm just going to have to stop making jokes. Yeah. I just feel like sometimes YouTube just goes too far with it. I mean, I, I get it. There's times when people come in and there's content creators and streamers out there actually exercising hate speech and saying awful, nasty shit. But then there, there's a difference between that and, and some harmless jokes. And YouTube needs to learn the fucking difference. <laughs> That's the problem, they don't. That's the thing that sucks is you can't go back right now and look and and be like, hey, can you show me timestamp and tell me exactly where the offense took place? It's like guilty until proven innocent. A lot they of times. They don't do it's, that? Huh? They don't do that? I, I don't think so. I mean, I guess you could inquire about it and ask them. Maybe, maybe who, it depends on who you're dealing with. Like, sometimes you might actually get a decent, like, moderator on YouTube that actually does a good job, but then you have some that are just lazy, and then magically, within a few seconds, they, they reject your appeal, and there's no way that a person could have been able to do that in the time allotted. It's just like with what happened, what, KSI, did y'all hear about that? Uh, what happened? Well, KSI was doing a giveaway, and I only found out about this because randomly appeared on Twitter. Oh, shit, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, the fucking cards got stolen, right? Yeah, and the video hadn't even gone live yet because it had to be reviewed by YouTube, and then magically somebody won the giveaway before the video was even live, which means that the only person that could have won was the very individual at YouTube that was doing the review. Oh, God. So, like... Oh, yeah, I like, heard about that story. I don't care I sues YouTube for that shit. That's yeah, bullshit. That's, I mean, that, that giveaway was meant for his viewers and subscribers. And I think, like, that must have been, like, thousands of dollars worth of Amazon gift cards, I think. I think it was 10000 I think? I could be wrong about that number, but... That guy's a thief. Yeah? Yeah, the guy, like, the guy who stole those cars, he's fucking walking around with bank now, but... Because mm -hmm. that's what most YouTubers do, right? They have a bunch of unlisted content ready to upload. Yeah, the, especially the bigger ones, because they get under more scrutiny than the smaller channels. And, like, they, a lot of them, they'll complain, like, yeah... I've waited hours to make this video go live, or I've waited days. And I just think that's ridiculous. Ooh. That is actually crazy. I probably, in that stream, I probably made a joke about because the, the skin was made for was made on made by somebody on Twitter. I probably made a, jokes about uh, people who love the same. I I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah, the risk. To... But I obviously don't don't hate uh, people who whatever you do behind closed doors is your business. Yeah. I just don't like people who make their personality about it. Yeah. See, that, that's the issue, is that a joke is most of the time just a harmless joke. And you meant nothing wrong or ill will towards anyone, but you were just making a joke. And it's unfortunate that, you know, somebody at YouTube took it the wrong way. That's just the problem with comedy now. That, I mean, like... Dave Chappelle and so many others are under attack now because yeah. of their jokes. And like, what happened with Chris Rock, like getting slapped by Will Smith over a harmless, like by Chris Rock standards, PG rated joke about his Will's wife. Like, has anyone ever watched a Chris Rock like concert or performance? Like, 
Like, he can go way more hardcore than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yet he should be allowed to make jokes, and so should Dave Chappelle and all the other comedians out there. I don't believe... Like, they say that they manually review things. I don't believe that. Because if they did, they know that that the things I talk about on my stream are harmless jokes. Yeah, I mean, for a video that is a few months old that just now got the strike, somebody else like wa just came across it and was watching your stream and heard your comment, and then they just got offended, and they probably decided to white knight or something, so they probably reported you. Probably. Because, yeah. like... Countless live streams and videos go up every day on, on YouTube. It's almost impossible for them to keep track of it unless, you know, somebody flags the video or the stream. That That's what I think happened, probably. That's, that's so weird and kind of scary, to be honest. Yeah, that's why I've been, that's why I've been telling Thunder... And everybody else that I be in parties with that um only like swear words I'm gonna be using is like damn and hell because people get offended over jokes I can't can't do what I want anymore yeah yeah it's just a slippery <laughs> slope that's actually crazy that that happened yeah it is that does suck huh? I guess the only thing you really can do is try to appeal it, you know, and and hope for the best. I mean, there's always a chance they may side with you, but there's also the possibility they, they won't. And that's the problem because you have, at the moment, you have no idea exactly why they decided to, like, strike your video. And I, I think that if they are to strike somebody's video, they need to tell you why, like, Explain to me exactly what I did or what happened in this video yeah. that merits the strike. It, it's just like if we that. got if one of us got arrested by the police, right? They have mm -hmm. to tell us why they're arresting us. Mm -hmm. Or if they pull us over. Like I mean that's that's a traffic violation. That's the first thing that, that they're obliged to do. Like, was it because I ran a stop sign? Was it because I was going too fast? Mm-hmm. Like you like, the police have to tell you. So I think YouTube should have to do that as well. It's just a disconnect between creators and YouTube. Yeah. And that's one reason why I took that survey. Even though it was a long-ass survey, I complained a lot about that. Because there are channels out there I watch that... Like Carrick's channel, my friend Carrick, who... ACG, he does great reviews. And, like, he's constantly getting age-restricted in his videos. And it's hurting his channel. And then you have another channel out there uh, called China Uncensored that covers all the authoritarian crap that happens in China because of the CCP. And mm -hmm. they also get targeted by YouTube. Yeah, but I think it's obvious because like, the CCP and Google, they're, they're in bed together. That's mainly yeah. why. And, it, and that's just... That's sad because they, they virtue signal all day long and yet they're allied with one of the most dangerous authoritarian regimes on the planet. Yeah. I just can't stand it. And all, all China Censor is trying to do is, is expose it, you know, and show what's happening in that country and what's happening to the Chinese people and what's happening to the Uyghur population and the people of Hong Kong and the people of Taiwan. And yet, no, no, we can't have that. Why not? Don't you want the truth? Don't you want to know what exactly is happening? It's just mm -hmm. frustrating. But but no, they they have time to you know strike your channel. They Little turn a blind eye me. to atrocities going on. I'm a, I'm a tone it down. I'm a just have to tone it down. Yeah. Tone jokes down. Make, 
I got to only jokes I can make is lighthearted jokes, I guess. Yeah. Hashtag free Mr. Tay. Like, what is this going to end up being? Like, like PBS tube? <laughs> oh, God. Where, where we all just talk really soft and friendly. Welcome back to my live stream, everybody. I hope you all are having a lovely day. I'm hanging out with Tay Daniel and Kane, and we're just having a good time. You know, just playing this, this game of Fortnite. It's a really nice, friendly game. Oh, we just lost the match. Well, you know, the other team was pretty good. You know, we're not going to be sweaty or upset. <laughs> like, hey. like, is that the future? Is that what we have to look forward to? I guess so. If people don't want, like, PBS NPR crap. If they wanted that, they'd go watch that content. You know what all the grown-ups told me when somebody, when somebody said something that made me mad or or uh offended me they said sticks and stones may break my bones yeah. but words can never hurt me Ooh, same here. well that's because we grew up in a different time you know where like we were used to growing up and people saying awful things about us and you know, that's why you know unfortunately middle school and high school was i mean i mean unless you're one of the bullies like everyone else you know we got picked on for a variety of reasons Mm -hmm. I got picked on plenty of times growing up because I was short. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm, you know, it's just that's life. Mm. But I mean, there's unfortunately there's some nasty people out there in the world, but it doesn't mean everybody is. Right. But, but yeah. YouTube can keep being YouTube, but uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna coddle people's feelings over jokes I made. Yeah. Well, they keep a, doing this, and people are gonna leave. But I'm a <laughs> I'm a tone it down now. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go on. I'm not gonna do the whole Logan Paul and apologize for my actions. Yeah. I mean, you have no reason to apologize. You haven't done anything up to that degree. Like, you should, make, you should do the uh, Logan Paul apology video where it's just, yeah. I've made a severe mislapse in my judgment, <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for for being funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like there's some things that idiots on YouTube do, or other so-called influencers do that yeah merit an apology, because they go too far. But I I've known you for a while, Tay, and I don't think you've done anything. That deserve to give get you a strike. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. But, uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. It was nice talking. All right, catch All you right. later, Tay. Good night. Right. Good one, Tay.